Thursday, July 28th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Be Strong in the Lord, and our scriptures, Ephesians chapter 6. As a note, this week we're going to revisit a series of devotions from 2016. It's not something we do often, but this series bears repeating during times of crisis. Ephesians chapter 6. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Paul is like the Old Testament prophets Moses and Joshua. He tells us to stand strong and in the Lord's power and might. What kind of advice is that, and why do we need it? Well, it's good advice, and we need it because the kinds of enemies we face are not the ones we can see or engage in physical battle. For the next several days, let's inspect the armor God has provided for us to be protected and fight well in the battles of spiritual warfare. Consider how difficult it is to fight the unseen, even in nature. I love the little rhyme that goes this way. Here's to the chigger, the bug that's no bigger than the end of a very small pin. But the itch that he raises simply amazes, and that's where the rub comes in. Well, it's important to learn to stand against both big and little things the devil throws in our pathway. God's people have always had to do so. There isn't a false stuff out there to trip up anyone who's not strong in the Lord. Everything from cults to Satanists and other assorted lunatics. But while there are all those spiritual traps Satan provides, there's also the reality that we are beings of the flesh as well. Sometimes we're like the cartoon character Pogo. We have met the enemy, and he is us. God knows us. He knows our frame that we are dust. And so God provides protection, effective armor. If we will take it and put it to the intended use, we will be successful in waging spiritual warfare. It's wise to ask someone who's used to battle how to approach battle. Joe Lewis was the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. He fought 71 times, and he lost only once. During the 15 years he held his title, he defended it 25 times. Bill Stern, the voice of American sports on radio, decided toward the end of the Brown Bomber's career that he would interview him and find out the technique or the secret that Lewis used in fighting his opponents and how he could win over people who were at times much larger than he was. His answer was very simple. He said, I study my opponent. I plan my fight very carefully. The results are always the same. I'm never surprised, and I stay on the offensive. That's pretty good counsel for dealing with the devil. Satan wins many of his attacks and victories because he surprises us. We continually live shocked. The believer has no reason to be shocked or intimidated or surprised by the attack of the enemy. None whatsoever. God has given us the armor and the battle plan to overcome his attacks. Paul, the apostle, was chained 24-7, 365, to a Roman guard. It's no wonder God used the imagery of armor and weapons to impress the apostle to warn us how to be strong in the Lord. We should never underestimate the enemy. Let's pray together. Father, we're at a time, a particularly difficult time, where our culture is so unhinged with anger and it's really hard to feel any kind of certainty about anything. That is, except you, Lord. You are our rock and shelter in storms and our mighty power in all that you call us to do. We know we shouldn't underestimate the enemy, but that's more manifestly true about your power. Help us to be strong in our Lord. For you today, in tomorrow's devotion, we're going to start getting dressed. We're going to begin with the belt. 
You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.